Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial. And on this one, we are going to talk about the display profiles. Now, this is something very, very simple. And maybe you already know about this and you're wondering why are you even explaining this? And I'm doing so because not all people read the manual and it's very normal. Actually, uh, most people don't read the manual and that's fine. You know, that's fine. So you have some features, some very cool features that are kind of a hitting on a right click on a very specific point. And it's the display. One, one of this is just the display profiles. So if I go over right here at the top and I click right here, we can, of course, increase the size or decrease the size, right? And that's very simple. That's not very useful for us right now. But below, you get display profiles. By default, you get the single display, which is the, you know, you get everything on a single screen which is cool, you know, that's fine. That's uh, how we, uh, you know, we mo mostly uh, use the DAW. Now, the thing is that you get all the modes and uh, all DAWs uh, give you this kind of a behavior, any major DAW. Now you have all the displays, you have a single display, which is small. Eh, in this case, in, uh, you know, in, uh, on a, in my computer it just makes no difference. So, you know, you have a tablet mode, which is gonna give you kind of a tablet layout. Uh, where you can go right here and just switch between different parts, you know, the arrangement. And uh, I guess all of this is just layered uh, for just uh, uh, for te for tablets, right? And, you know, it's just an easier way of uh, just, just to work with tablets. Now, of course, in this case, I'm uh, not very useful for me because I am not using a tablet. Then you get a triple display, but we can uh, maybe uh, see that one later. Now, these ones are very useful. And they are very useful if you have two monitors. If you don't have two monitors, it's just, you know, a little bit annoying because you're going to have to open and close tabs uh, right here, you know, on the bar. And it's just super annoying. But if you are, uh, uh, you own two monitors like me, for example, I have two, I have three actually, uh, but I mostly use two. The number three is just for different things. Uh, I really use this feature and this is the way I use it in real life. So let me just show you. I'm going to go to dual display. Now, dual display is just going to go and split, give you two screens. And notice I'm, I'm uh, kind of a, uh, summarizing everything on the single screen so I can, you know, put it on the video. So this is going to be one screen. So this is going to be on for your first monitor and this is going to be on your other monitor. This one will give you pretty much your arrangement view, your clip view and everything else. And if you select clips, you can just do the editing and everything else and you get all on one single spot. And notice that even the options right here at the bottom change a little bit. And notice that it changes right here because if you go to edit mode now, this screen becomes the edit and you have one big dedicated screen uh, to do the editing and you don't have to go right here and there's a very small place to do it. Now you have a whole screen uh, where you can do that. It's just much, much useful, right? And it's just, uh, you know, provides a, a just a fast workflow. Now, of course, you know, by default, you get this screen. Now, this is my preferred view uh, when I work with, you know, when I make tracks. I like you get the arrangement, uh, not the editing right here at the, at the bottom, but just, you know, maybe get something else. But, uh, you know, I like to keep the channels, you know, the mixer right here, right here on the, on the other screen. So I can just, you know, go down and see how much I'm doing and all the plugins I'm using. Same thing right here. When I'm changing tracks, I like to see them, uh, the plugins really clean. And right here, what I would like to do, if I want to edit, I have a dedicated view just to do the automation uh, a little bit easier. That's that's the whole point, you know, just the workflow. Then uh, you have the, the studio and this one, I'm sorry, this is the one I use, the arranger mixer. So right here, you get pretty much the uh, most common way of using the, uh, the DAW, right? You get the arranger, you get the info, you uh, get the uh, the effects and everything else. So you can just, you know, do some changes right here. And on the other side, you get the mixer. So this is going to go to my second screen so I can see clearly, you know, the levels of, you know, of what is happening right here. I can, I can clearly see how much I'm doing, if I'm overdoing, if I'm clipping, if I'm doing everything. And I can even open and close and see, well, you know, what is on and off on a very quick view, right? It's just much, much more useful.
You know, I cannot get better than that. Now, what happens if I want to do, I uh, want to get the edit view, you know, just to edit the automation. Of course, you can still just go, maybe not this one, I'm going to go to this one. You know, how much automation you have on this one? Well, you know, you can still go to this view, or this view, or this view, or just keep it on this view. But again, you can do it right here, right? You can go right there, and whenever, whatever you select is going to be selected right there, and you can just do your, your automation just a bit more easily. That's the whole point. So yeah, you know, this is, uh, this is the one I like. So uh, then you have the master in detail, and then you have just variations of the same thing. So I'm gonna go uh, to this one. Let me just make it smaller. Uh, there we go, there we go. And of course, this is just much better when you have two screens. And this one is again, it's just a variation. You just get pretty much the same thing and the controls right here, right, right here change. But on this one, you get a view of the pretty much the mixer, uh, which is called again, master detail. So you get, of course, your arrangement, you get a more detailed view of whatever track you're selecting or whatever clip you're selecting. So you can, of course, do the automation and everything else or the editing. And you still get, of course, your mix view. Now, if you want the mix, of course, it's going to change the mix and so on and so on and so on. Notice that you can just swap them. And again, it depends. Uh, at the end of the day, it depends. Uh, it depends up to you of, uh, you know, just what you want to see, what you want to use. And then you have the studio touch. I don't, you know, have no use for this one. It's going to give you kind of a, a blend of the normal uh, DAW on the large version, you know, the one that we use the whole time, the single display. And then it's kind of a, a touched version, uh, which is, you know, it's going to give you just that. Eh, I have no, no use for this one in my, you know, my case. And then you have the triple display. If you have three monitors, you're, you know, a happy owner of three, uh, three monitors. You're going to get one view. You're going to get a second view with you know for the editing and you can have a third view for the mixing so which is super great just super great now having two monitors for me is just essential having three is a is just a bit too much i have a third one but i, I just sometimes i just put youtube there and i just work and <laughs> work uh on two monitors it's just me i know okay so now you know now you know that if you you know if you have two monitors you can do more um uh, on your DAW and maybe if you if you don't have a monitor and you were thinking about getting one an extra one well now you have an excuse yeah to go and get it all right so hopefully you like the video remember to like and subscribe if you learned something maybe you, you already knew about this and you you know but yeah you know just like the video anyways and uh and remember of course to subscribe and see you on the next one